Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. I'm really excited to announce that I've reached 25,000 subscribers and I want to say thank you to all of you. Now, it was the Bar Z Summer Bash 2016 a few weeks ago and I got to shoot some very special footage that I want to show you. As a YouTube creator, one of the questions I'm asked is, how did you get started shooting videos? And another question that always pops up is, do you have any advice? Well, what I did is I posed this question to several of your favorite YouTube creators like Keith Rucker, Adam Booth, Jim Bollinger, those very questions. And I'm putting them in, together in a set of videos that you can watch at your leisure. Now, the Summer Bash was a great time. I met hundreds of people. And I got to be honest, I can't remember everybody. I have uh, some people that I promised to contact. I apologize that I haven't in my little notebook here. I can't read my own, uh, well, my own writing sometimes. So if I promise to contact you and haven't, I apologize. Um, please leave a note in the comments. I know, uh, gentlemen, we were talking about bending tubing. I'd love to finish that conversation with you. Also, some of the other guys out there. It was just so much fun, so overwhelming, but so exciting. I just can't wait till next year. Now, a lot of you know that I also emceed this year and last year. And I got to say, it was a lot of fun and it just be part of such a fantastic event. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy the next series of videos about the Bar Z Summer Bash and the interviews that I did. Yeah. So we have Keith Rucker here from VintageMachinery.org. You also have a website, which we can talk about that a little bit. Okay. But what I want to ask you is, how did you get started and what was your inspiration for your YouTube channel? Yeah, so the first couple of videos that I did actually was more in response to some people on some discussion forums that I was involved in on the time. And I was doing work and posting pictures and people were asking me technical questions about how I was doing things. I said, hey, I'm just going to shoot a video, throw it up on YouTube. And quite honestly, I thought, well, you know, six people will watch this and it'll all be over. And next thing I know, people from all over the world are watching my channel and watching my videos and chiming in and I'm making all these new connections that I've never made before. And, and uh, now, you know, the channel is actually much bigger than the discussion forums <laughs> <laughs> than I was on originally. It's actually grown way bigger than the discussion forums, which is kind of cool. That is great. Now, how many subscribers are you up to? So right now I'm somewhere right around 65,000, somewhere that, in that ballpark. And how long, or when was the first one you produced? Probably been doing this about three years now. Excellent. Yeah. Well, your channel's bigger than mine in three years. Maybe I need to change something. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So one of the questions we do get asked often is, um, what advice do you have for somebody that wants to do a YouTube channel or already has one started? Yeah. So I think two things. Number one, just be yourself. Do what you're doing. Don't try to create a video just to be creating a video. Go out the shop. Whatever you're doing, people are going to find that interesting. And I think a lot of times people respond better to just real projects and real things that are going on, and real problem solving, uh, than trying to do a particular video on a particular topic. I've done both, but I find when I'm working in the shop, that's what people want to do more. And the second thing I'd say is interact with your your, your fans, your subscribers, okay. you know, on your comments. And that's one of the hardest things to do, particularly when you get a lot of subscribers and you're getting six or seven hundred comments from sometimes on a single video. But for me, building that relationship with my fans is extremely okay. important and, and I think that really kind of lets them feel like they get to know you better yes. and they become more dedicated fans. And I think that's such an excellent piece of advice. And I have to say that is one of my weak points and maybe that's why he has more subscribers than I do. It's hard. It's really hard. And as the channel gets bigger, it gets more and more difficult. And you told me you spend almost two hours a day trying to reply to everybody. Yeah, that's probably pretty accurate. Yeah, that is just overwhelming to me, but it's excellent. So let me ask you a technical question. Okay. What type of cameras and software do you use? All right, so my main camera that I use is a Canon 70D, which is a digital DSLR. And quite honestly, when I started shooting videos, I already had that camera. Um, so that was the camera I went to, which is probably a little bit higher in camera than most people are using, but I had it, I use it, I love it. It's an absolutely great camera. And uh, I also have a GoPro and a little small Sony camera that I'll use just for second shots occasionally. Okay. But the Canon is my, is my main camera. As far as software, uh, I'm using uh, Adobe uh, Premiere, 
Okay. Uh, and again, I was already subscribing to the Adobe deal online where you, basically it wasn't costing me anything more than what I was already paying. So I okay. pay like $49 a month to have access to the Adobe suite, had it, so that's what I'm using. Perfect. Keith, I want to say thank you. Okay. And go back out and have some more fun. Uh, we're having lots of fun at the bash. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>